Well, hello. So today we're going to uh, put a firewall on a Linux system, system using FirewallD. So uh, first thing I need to do is I need to launch an instance because we're going to do this on a brand new one. Um, so I'll get that launching so that we don't have to wait too much for it. So and I'm going to call this firewall one because this is the one that we're just going to play with firewall. It's just using Amazon Linux and key pair. I want my normal one um, and that should be good. Launch instance. Okay, so it's launching. Sweet. Um, while I'm doing this, I'm going to launch another instance as well. Uh, we'll do it in the next, uh, we'll use it for the next video, but we're going to get it launching, so we'll have to use it uh, again. Fire, come on. My computer's slow. Firewall 2. Key pair name. My personal key. And launch. Sweet. So we have those two. Happy day. So I'm going to come back to instances and hopefully firewall one is going to be up and going. So I'm going to grab the IP address and SSH EC2 user at the IP address. And we are in happy day. Okay. So uh, first thing we want to do is let's install firewall D. So sudo yum dash y install firewall d so firewall d sits on top of ip tables i've used ip tables before um it's just the i think it's the main one that people are using now i could be wrong uh by the way using a firewall uh, an instance based firewall in amazon is an anti-pattern but as a cybersecurity expert, you should definitely be using firewalls on instances. Um, if anything else fails or is misconfigured, that's your last uh, your last resort. Okay, so we're going to set it up really basically, so a uh, really basic firewall. Um, okay, so uh, we've got it installed, but if we look at firewall dash cmd and dash dash state, and I always free yeah not running. Um, and there's list dash all, which shouldn't work because it's not running. So we first need to get it to run. So, um, we can system CTL start firewall D, uh, system control start. I misspelled it. Imagine that <laughs> I still misspell it. Fire. Oh, fire wall D. Did I? Let's clear this. I wonder if we have to enable it. System CTL uh, enable firewall D. Okay. Oh, I'm not being root. Ha, that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to go back to the start. Sudo. Um, I knew there's a reason I usually do this as root. So sudo. Uh, sys, so let's do firewall dash cmd and dash dash state. It's now running. Happy day. But if we do sudo firewall dash cmd dash dash list dash all um, we can see that it has public it has some services um, so cool it looks like and it's active so firewall oh Sudo firewall dash cmd dash dash um, get default zone. It's public. 
So, um, by the way, we can also get zones. We'll list all the possible zones. So we have public is the default. Um, there, but these others that you can use. So think about this as, hey, where am I at? Am I at home? I am. Am I in the public? Am I at work? So these are different uh, areas you can set up. Okay. Cool. Um, by the way, if we do firewall dash cmd dash dash get dash active zone is it zones zone oh sudo a anyway um well we're gonna reboot we're just gonna reboot to make sure that it's happy sudo reboot um clear so now i should be able to log back in pretty quickly um, but enabling a firewall, there's always a chance that you've made a mistake and you can't log in. Just a heads up. Um, but it also takes a little time to reboot. So this is where, uh, especially if I'm doing a test with my students and they're doing a hands-on activity and they have to do a firewall, they're sitting here, they're trying to connect and they're like, shoot, is it rebooting or is it my firewall? But uh, it's still rebooting. Um, it'll take a little bit of time, not too much. So it's now in the boot process to the point where it's refusing the connection. That's good. That means it's probably done. Cool. So um, we're back in. Happy day. So now let's do one more thing here. So if we look at this, so sudo firewall-cmd dash dash list dash all so that's cool but what if we want to add another service so uh by the way public is active now we didn't see it as active before uh targets default uh and here's the services that are allowed you can also do ports protocols and stuff so anyway so we're going to add another service so uh sudo firewall cmd dash dash um zone uh zone equals public um and we want to dash dash add dash service and let's add http um cool so now if we list all we can see that it's there now here's a problem. Um, this isn't gonna survive reboot. So uh, in fact, let's show one more thing. Um, let's install Apache. So sudo yum install HTTPD. Yep. Um, sudo system ctl httpd start oh h you know i need to enable it that's what it is just to control enable http and now I can start it. HTT. I'm striking out today. Give me just a sec. Let me look. Um, let's see. Well, first, let's do sudo netstat dash tnlp. T. LMP. So it'll show that Apache is not running. Sudo systemctl um, 
start HTTP. <laughs> I was doing it wrong. <laughs> the wrong order. Okay. It's had to think. Okay, so uh, yeah, now it's there working. So I want to show you something though. If I come here, so we copied this IP address. We come here, and it's not going to show. The reason why is because we need to enable this firewall. Think of this as a security firewall. Uh, the security group was created automatically. Here's the inbound rules. That doesn't allow port 80. So we're going to come here. Edit inbound rules. Add rule. And we want HTTP from anywhere. Save rules. OK, so it's saved. We're just going to hit enter. Maybe. Oh, it just barely, barely opened. OK, there we go. Test page. Sweet. So cool. So you really don't want this showing. There's actually issues with this showing, but that's OK. Uh, we're going to not use this for long. So we set up our firewall. We have it allowing Apache, but um, let's do something. Let's sudo reboot. So once again, this is going to take a little bit. We notice this page will be down when we reboot. So it's going to just spin there, which is why I kind of like copy this. Close that, open the, a new tab so you can see that it doesn't load. Okay um because it's not working okay so let's come back here and remember it takes a little while to reboot so it usually doesn't take more than two minutes um it depends on the system though if it's a big system with a lot of disk and it has maybe an issue it has to check that can take longer but usually uh, it doesn't take long remember I use a control C to check in every once in a while. Um, and if you remember up above, uh, right before it logged me in, it, it did, well, I can't go up high enough. Um, right before it logged me in, it did say, hey, it's denied. I caught it at a specific time during boot. And this time I didn't. Um, cool. So I'm back up. If I look, sudo. Uh, net stat dash PNLP. Look right there. I can see HTTPD started. Sweet. And if I come here, it's not going to work. So I'm going to copy this and open a new tab. Unreachable. And that was really quick. The reason why is because sudo firewall dash CMD dash dash list dash all HTTPD is gone. We rebooted. So if I type history, this command right here adds the service back in and then we can come back here. We should just be able to hit enter and it works. So what we need to do, come back here, hit the up arrow and we're just going to do dash dash permanent sweet now it should survive a reboot um this is why right before i send anything into production i want to reboot it and make sure things still work because someone's went through and they've changed something and it's working right now but the moment the system has to reboot the very first reboot things aren't going to work just reboot it see what doesn't work fix it Reboot it again and validate that it's fixed. So anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. We installed Firewall D. We installed Apache. We opened up Apache on Firewall D and on our security group, our network firewall. We'll see you in the next video.